It seems like no matter who you talk to, everybody out there hates their garden nozzles and will tell you how hard it is to get a good one. So in this video, I've selected 12 of the best models on the market. We're going to try them out and help you figure out which might be the right one for you. First up is Gilmore's heavy duty thumb control nozzle for 12 bucks. Now the price is great on this one and you'd think the multi-position head would be really useful, but most of these settings are pretty much useless and you're never going to use them in regular gardening. The other thing I liked was it is plastic and metal so it's got some weight, but I didn't like that this thing was pouring water out of the head. And this is brand new, so if it's doing this today, it's just going to get worse over time. Price was great and the build was good, but I'm still just giving this a C because it shouldn't have leaked this badly on day one. Next is Gilmore's High Pressure Fireman Nozzle for $19. Now when I ordered this thing, it looks really cool, but when I got it, I was really disappointed because it's super heavy. Now it is made of plastic, rubber, and metal, and it feels good in your hand, but it's just too big. And the other issue was the control was really poor. You could never really get the water flow the way you wanted it. So overall, I'm giving this a D because I wouldn't recommend it. Next up is the Orbit Thumb Control D-Grip for 13 bucks. Now this is a great price, it's made of plastic, rubber, and metal, and it felt really good in my hand, and I personally do like those thumb controls. But the one issue I had was when you turn that end knob, the spray would kind of favor one side or the other, and I found it kind of odd, and at one point it was really spraying to the left. And though it's a good price, I still am going to give this one just a C rating, because it really wasn't my favorite. Next up is the Fan How Fan Ho model for 19 bucks. This is a little bit pricier, but it is made completely of metal and it feels really solid. Now I love the fact this thing's pretty small and the spray pattern throughout the entire range was excellent. It also had one of the cleanest, straightest streams of any of the nozzles I reviewed and I just loved using it. It was comfortable and did everything I wanted and the solid build construction was excellent. The only complaint was I would have liked a rubber skin on it, but they actually offer that model for a couple of dollars more if you want that feature. Overall, this was definitely a clear winner for me and I'm giving this an A rating. Now we're going old school with the Gilmore Pistol Grip for just $5. Now for that price, you figure it would be a bargain, but unfortunately this is nothing like the one you had when you were a kid. They have value engineered this thing to death the metal is paper thin, it's got a bunch of plastic parts, and the spray pattern was terrible unless you had the thing wide open, and at that point you don't even really need a sprayer. So overall it does spray water, so I'm going to give it a D rating, but I wouldn't recommend this one to anyone. Here's what Gilmore calls their multicolored nozzle for $13. Now the price is pretty good, and it's basically a small version of that fireman's nozzle, but I found the spray pattern to not be very good, and it's really weird to control. You actually turn it to the right to shut it off, and if you like getting irritated easily, this is definitely a good choice because it's going to piss you off trying to figure out which way to turn it to get it to do what you want. I wouldn't recommend this model, but it did spray water better than the other fireman's nozzle, so I'm going to give it a C rating, especially because of the low price. This is Gilmore's professional cleaning nozzle is what they call it. Now it's only $13, so it's a good price, and overall it looks excellent. It's made of metal, plastic, and rubber, and it felt really good in my hands. But then the problem started. The locking mechanism to keep the water on is made of a really flimsy piece of plastic, and I just couldn't get it to engage. The other issue is there's a brass knob on the back that just kept loosening it up, and it would basically make the water not flow properly. And despite the good looks, online reviews said this model was not very reliable, and I think it wouldn't be a good purchase long term, so I'm only giving it a C. And here we've got an Amazon bestseller, the DCL YSI for 11 bucks. This has all plastic construction, it's got a multi-position head, and again, most of these settings you're likely never going to use. But this could be a good model if you want to use it in flower beds, or to do some delicate plants in your yard. And I was very surprised to see it wasn't leaking any water at all out of the bottom of the head. And when you compared it to the Gilmore, this is a really big improvement. And overall, based on the reviews of my experience here, I'm going to give it a B rating, especially because of the cheap price. Up until this model, all the Gilmores were doing really badly, but this is their industrial model for $21. Now, like the construction overall, it's rubber coated metal and everything feels very heavy duty. It was easy to grip and I really felt you could use this thing for hours. And though it's a bit more expensive at $21, this really felt like something you were purchasing that was worth the money. So I'm giving this one an A rating because I didn't find anything about it that I didn't like. Here we've got the DRAM all brass model made in the USA for just $15. When you take this apart, look at how fine those threads are. And the model on the left is a Chinese copy and it's much coarser. And what that means is when you're using this model, you won't be able to control it as well as you'd want. You can get exactly the spray pattern you want and you can also turn it off using the nozzle itself. Now overall I really had no complaints with it and since there's basically no moving parts, if you buy one of these you can expect it to pretty much last forever. And I found everything about the pattern and the way you use it to just be a good experience. So if you want to simplify your life a bit, get a garden nozzle that's probably going to outlive you. This is definitely a good choice and at $15 this definitely gets an A rating.
This is the Gilmore Pro Utility Nozzle for $19. Now this one is really a standout one because it's so small and you don't have to hold anything to keep it off or on. You just turn the control exactly where you want the flow and it always stays in position. This would be a good nozzle for somebody frequently doing jobs where they want the same setting for long periods of time. All of the spray patterns on this model were excellent and it's also got this pencil jet mode that fires the water further than any of the other models I tested. And the only negative is the spray modes didn't really put out a lot of water, so this might not be ideal for gardening, it might be more of a utility sprayer, but overall I'm giving it a B rating because it was really good. And here we've got kind of a no-name garden sprayer from Amazon for $13. Now this has a number of spray patterns, a lot of which you'll never use, but what I did like about this model is it would be ideal for doing flower beds and delicate plantings because the spray patterns themselves were actually really good. What it was weak on was having a stream pattern, which is something you probably use if you're watering far away. I don't think this model would be good for doing things like washing cars, but if you're mostly using it in your beds, this could be a really good purchase and it's certainly affordable for the $13. And for that reason and the good online reviews, I'm going to give this one a B rating. And my three top picks getting A ratings are the Gilmore Industrial for $21, the Fanhal for $19, and the best value model, the Dram, for just $14. I think if you get any of these three, you'll be really happy. And if you have a model that you like that I didn't cover here, please comment below. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.